Good morning everyone, welcome back to My Allotment Diaries. My name is Emma, these are My Allotment Diaries. I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Um, today is such a beautiful day in the UK, so it's like 20 degrees today, um, or it's going to be later on, which is why I've just absolutely rushed down here. I'm so excited to see the plot in all its glory, and it is looking so perfect and beautiful. Like The sunlight just seems to hit the plot a different way, and everything just looks alive. Einstein is loving his new bird feeder, so that's excellent. And his, and his girlfriend is as well. They're just flying back and forth, forward. Gosh, he's loud, isn't he? He's all the way over there and I can hear it. It's like he's in my ear. Yeah, they've been flying back and forward to it all morning, which is just great. I'm so happy they like it. So I have quite a few jobs to do today, so I'm gonna crack on, get on with it. Um, a lot of planting, a lot of seed sowing, a lot of weeding. We'll just, we'll see how much we can get done. Uh, but the weather's lovely, it's blue skies, it's sun, the birds are singing, and I'm just, I could not be happier. This is what I've been waiting for like all winter. So let's do this. <laughs> Starting off today by planting out some marigolds. I picked these up in b and um, It was two plants for £10. I think I got some violas as well um, to plant out in my back garden. I love violas, they're so pretty. They flower for ages and they're edible as well. Obviously marigolds are edible too, so you can use the petals and the flowers um, on salads and stuff. But they're also very good companion plants. So a companion plant is like a plant that's a friend with another plant. And there's lots of reasons why they could be friends. So firstly, they could just get on really well together. Beans, sweet corn, courgettes, they go together really well. They're like three best friends. And it's, it's they could complement each other. They could help the soil out for each other. They can also be friends because they deter pests that the other plant uh, is prone to. So for example, if you plant marigolds near tomatoes, they deter the white fly that can uh, congregate on tomatoes and eat them. Likewise, if you plant oregano around brassicas, it can deter slugs and snails because they don't like the smell of the oregano. So, But of course, just like humans, not all plants are friends with each other. So for example, marigolds shouldn't really be planted around beans or brassicas. I think sometimes with companion plants, it can get quite com complicated, can't it? So I think the best thing to do is to learn the plants that don't go together and whack everything else together. That's the best, that's the easiest way to do it because plants get on with more plants then they don't get on with plants, if that makes sense. So if you're gonna learn about companion planting, just learn the plants that don't get on together and everything else just whack out together. Um, I've actually got nasturtiums growing here. This is where my pumpkins are gonna be. So this is, I'm, I'm sitting under my archway where my pumpkins are gonna go um, and I've planted in some nasturtium seeds which are finally starting to grow. So you can see that one's growing. I've got a little tiny baby one there. I've got another one here. If you do have a pumpkin archway, I would recommend growing nasturtiums underneath it, not just because they keep away pests. I think they keep away slugs and snails because they attract them. They're kind of sacrificial, um, but also they give really good ground coverage. They kind of cover all the ground underneath the pumpkins, which is excellent, So, and it looks really pretty. But also marigolds do really, really well around pumpkins. So I'm gonna whack in my marigolds along the pumpkin archway, um, let them grow away, and uh, yeah, I think it will look pretty, but it will also be quite a good companion plant for the pumpkins. Maybe it just keep them company. Don't know. Even if they just keep them company, that'd be great. <laughs>
Okay, second job of the day. I tell you what, today I could just film me walking around this plot over and over again. It's so beautiful, but it's so hard to get the camera right because the sun is just beaming on me. But I, that's exactly what I want for an allotment plot. Like this whole back of the plot is just pure sunshine. It's just lovely. There's a slight problem with the sweet peas, which is not what I wanted to be saying. Now they are alive, but they have a bug. They have a bug problem. So this is definitely not slug and snails. Um, though there is a little bit of slug juice on it it might be a slug and a snail but can you see here the leaves it's like they've been eaten from the inside out I think that is a leaf miner a leaf miner bug which is not great it's not what we want I mean they are still growing and they're getting more leaves at the top which is fantastic you know they're doing their best actually is that the bug there is that it is that the little problem no it's not that's the plant sorry I get confused by what the plant is and what the bug is. Anyway, I think they look like the plant, that's why I'm getting confused. But I think this is a leaf, a leaf miner, so it goes into the leaf and eats it from the inside out, which is not great, which is not great. So what I did was I thought, fine, you can have these ones, guys. I brought some more from B&Q, and these are four for eight pounds, which I don't think is that cheap. I'm sure I got them for a pound last time. We'll just bite the billet and just whack out some more and hope for the best. I've planted so many in these pots that I am just pulling them apart a little bit and splitting them up. I think you can plant them all together, but I'm going to split them up a bit. I think they need to learn to be a bit independent, you know. That's what I'm thinking. Right, you're probably dead, mate. So I'm just going to I'm just going to move you out. I think you're dead. Yeah, I think, well you are now. <laughs> you're definitely dead now. under the plant yeah you can there you are right just if you just shuffle your bum over a bit because don't want to like that's it as long as you don't invite your slug mates i don't know if you are mates or not but if you are they're not allowed all right okay there we go more sweet bits lovely gonna let those pesky slugs and snails get a chance so I'm gonna put down some slugless and then I'm gonna have to look up about the leaf miner and see if there's anything I can spray on them I'm pretty sure there's a concoction you can make and spray on the leaves that keeps them away I might have to do that because they are ravaging my sweet peas but let's put down the um the old slugless first that my nasturtiums that I planted so I just planted these as seeds have all come up in my conclusion nasturtiums are one of the easiest things to grow in the world I've literally whacked these in and they've just grown and now we've got all the new sweet peas in so hopefully this archway is now safe I think that's just the um, that's just the trick the trick is just to keep planting keep whacking stuff in every time it dies put more stuff in they can't eat it all guys I keep saying it they just can't eat it all and if they do, good luck to them, you know? <laughs> Right, so the last job that I thought would be to do today is to plant out my runner beans. These are my runner bean seeds. These are from last year. I really hope they're still okay. <laughs> I don't know why they would be, but I'm not the greatest seed storer in the world, so I'm hoping they're okay. Um, I'm gonna plant them out on my old pumpkin archway, which is just behind me here. So this archway here on my original plot, this is where I used to grow all my pumpkins. I grew my pumpkins last year. I think it moved, it used to be there. Then I moved it here to try and move the pumpkins around. But basically last year I grew runner beans 
on that structure over there where the peas are and they literally wanted to take off into the atmosphere and like reach the moon so I thought why not grow them over an archway I think they'll do really well I'm also going to add in some summer beans so like French beans I've got these yellow French beans I think they're yellow French beans um, and I'm going to whack loads of beans and we're going to have just beans everywhere might have to put a squash here too because I have planted quite a lot at home and these are the sweet peas that I planted out in this archway in the hopes of getting a few flowers but this doesn't really bode well for the runner beans does it they've been totally eaten by slugs so they're definitely more vulnerable here than over on the new plot completely dead so what we're gonna have to do is really put down some good slug and snail protection here but they're gonna go all along here so let's just whack them in Right, so that is the runner beans in this side and this side of the archway. So this archway should be my bean archway, which I think I look really nice. Did I just say bean really weirdly? <laughs> my bean archway. Um, so it should look really nice and it should be quite um, good to pick stuff because I don't have to walk down the middle. I can just sort of walk under it and pick the beans. That's the idea anyway. Um, so lots of planting done today. I'm gonna have to call it a day there because I've got to get back home But I hope you've enjoyed the vlog today. If you have do subscribe to my youtube channel Hopefully this good weather fingers crossed continues at least it can just be a little bit less windy That would be great wind is like the worst possible weather Um, I will see you again on friday. Have a lovely rest of your gardening week. See you friday guys. Thanks for watching. Bye